don't get me wrong. As a D&D player, I love a bit of murder. Sometimes, there are slightly more interesting ways of dealing with situations. Now, I'm not just talking about sneaking past or knocking people out. Yeah, okay, you can start with that. What are you going to do next? So this video is about some of the more interesting things that you can do to permanently deal with enemies without actually shedding a drop of blood. Now, maybe you're a paladin. Maybe you're a druid that believes in the balance of all things. Maybe you're a sadistic prick that just wants to hurt people without killing them. Either way, I think you're going to find something in this video for you. Maybe there's someone that you hate just enough to have them disappear, not necessarily die. Now yeah, the rules totally allow for you to knock them out, tie them up, what are you going to do with them then? You could kill them, but what's the point? You could hand them into the authorities, that sounds pretty boring, and there's no profit in that. Why not find a group of travelling slavers and see if they're looking to make a quick purchase? Why not head to the docks? and nail them into a crate headed for some far distant land. If all else fails, just pay a wizard to just teleport them anywhere. And remember, it's not murder unless you actually see them die. If your enemy is in a position of power, then embarrassment is a great way to get rid of them. I'm thinking about hiding drugs in the office of the politician that's causing your party so much trouble. I'm thinking about the tough as nails mercenary leader who just happens to leave a letter lying out which explains how much cash he's been skimming off the top and all of his men find it. I'm thinking about the pious priest with his holier than thou sermons who just happens to have his trousers pulled down by a mage hand. Sometimes it's the simple things. Don't you think she looks tired? Maybe these options aren't sadistically cruel enough, in which case why not magically cripple your foe? A Feeble Mind is an 8th level wizard spell and it is one of my favourite spells in the game. Here's a description. You blast the mind of a creature that you can see within range, attempting to shatter its intellect and personality. The target takes 4d6 psychic damage and must make an intelligence saving throw. On a failed save, the creature's intelligence and charisma scores become 1. The creature can't cast spells, activate magic items, understand language or communicate in any intelligible way. The creature can, however, identify its friends, follow them and even protect them. At the end of every 30 days, the creature can repeat its saving throw against the spell, and if it succeeds on its saving throw, the spell ends. So what this effectively allows you to do is to completely decimate the mind of anybody, giving them the exact same intelligence level as a rug for a month, after which they get to repeat their saving throw. With the extend spell feat, you could make that two months. Even better, because their intelligence score is now one, they're going to be making that saving throw at a minus five every time. You could potentially reduce the mightiest sorcerer in the land to someone that spends months, if not years, as an imbecile. Now, I don't know who the villains are in your campaign, but I know that you're already thinking of the NPC that deserves this. If that's a little rich for you, or maybe you don't have a wizard that's capable of that, what about a geese? Geese? Geass? This spell allows you to place a magical command on a creature that you can see within range, forcing it to carry out some service or refrain from some action or course of activity as you decide. If the creature can understand you, it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become charmed for, by you for the duration. While the creature is charmed by you, it takes 5d10 psychic damage each time it acts in a manner directly counter to your instructions, but no more than once each day. So. With this spell, effectively, you can send your enemy or anybody else just off in a direction to do something for you. Now, if you've got something that you need doing, great, go fight that, go find me this item, that sort of thing. You could just tell them to pick a direction and fuck off for as long as possible. 30 days works out to 720 hours. The average human walking speed is about 3.1 miles per hour, which means that in 30 days, someone could walk about 2,232 miles or 3,592 kilometers. Now this means, according to Google Maps, if your enemy started in the lovely Spanish seaside town of Almeria, they could make it about as far as Chernobyl for lunch before the spell wore off. And then of course there is the possibility of permanent injury, and this is where things get a bit gruesome, but I'm sure you can take it. Throughout history, the removal of body parts was always quite a common punishment. You steal something, you might lose a finger. Steal again, you lose the rest of the hand. Say something the king doesn't like or the queen doesn't like? Lose the tongue. Get caught by Ramsay Bolton? You get the idea on that one. Now a crippled foe is potentially still able to act against you. There is something in the benefit of having a survivor 
marked and able to tell the story of what this sadistic band of adventurers do to those that oppose them. So I'm gonna give you this something you can't take off. So this is by no means a definitive list, just a few fun ideas to think about before you stick a sword in somebody's face. If you've got any other ideas or any stories of stuff that's happened in your campaign, I'd really love to hear about it, so make sure you leave me a comment. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more D&D content, hit the like button, and you can subscribe to keep up to date with everything that's coming out on this channel. And the popular thing these days, I think, is the notification bell. If you give that a little ding, then that should send you a notification every time a new video comes out, and it means that you won't miss a thing. More content on the way, but until then, I'll see you later.